How's it going, everybody? Um, this morning, I want to speak about making sure that you guys fully fund your emergency savings account, okay? So a good rule of thumb is to set aside at least three to six months worth of expenses just in case an emergency were to happen. But now, before you even get to this part, we all know in baby step number one, where you set up your mini uh, mercy fund by getting to $1,000 as fast as you can. That was baby step number one. Baby step number two was basically you eliminate all your debt except for your mortgage. Now, baby step number three is to have a fully funded emergency savings account. Why would you want to have a mercy fund? You want to have a mercy fund in case something were to happen. What if you couldn't work for a while? Maybe you became temporarily disabled. Maybe you get hurt at work. Maybe there's a pandemic. I know many of us remember the pandemic when it came to COVID, when a lot of the businesses shut down, right? A lot of people um, lost their jobs. You know, um, a lot of those people, you know, didn't have anything set aside. That's what we learned that not only were people living paycheck to paycheck, but a lot of small businesses were living paycheck to paycheck as well. So that's why it's important to have that cushion there because we saw in earlier videos where we talked about the uh, financial house, make sure it's built on a proper foundation um, and having your mercy fund in place before you start uh, uh, really going at it aggressively with investing is very important because a lot of people like to put investing first. You know, they build their financial house improperly. And we already know when the house is not sitting on a proper foundation, it can't stand. It's going to crash, right? But when you build it upon solid rock, right, you're going to have that mercy fund in place before you start investing, even though investing is the fun part. But before we get there, we want to make sure that we don't give up when it comes to establishing our fully funded mercy fund. Because a lot of people like to give up in uh, baby step number three because they lost all their um, all their hypeness when they eliminate all their debt except for their mortgage. You know, they began the daunting task of establishing a fully funded emergency fund. We can't keep that excitement there. We have to make sure that we st stick with it, you know, because people are doing it. So it is possible, it's not impossible. We just have to put our mindset to attack it aggressively. Any windfall you may come across when it comes to bonuses, you know, make a little extra money online, whatever it is, whatever it is, make sure you dump that money, if not all of it, a portion of it into your mercy fund so you can uh, fund it as quick as possible to so move on to baby step number four which is the fun part of investing up to 15 percent of your gross income you know for retirement so again this is baby step number three and that is fully funding your emergency fund and then again the rule of thumb is setting aside three to six months of work expenses in case something were to happen but um stay tuned hope you guys enjoy to meet again, you guys have a great day. Take care.